morning, everybody. I'm going to play some uh, Black Mesa. <clears throat> as long as it works. Got kind of a weird setup here. Oh my gosh, what's happening with my voice? Ah. <clears throat> Sorry, just making sure I send out a tweet here. Let's do this. Let's start it up. Chapter one, play new game. All righty then. Things are happening. Other applications in the background are closing. to the Black Mesa Transit System. Oh, thank you. This automated train is provided for the security and convenience of the Black Mesa Research Facility Half -life, personnel. Mouse pad, very important. The time is uh, actually companion key tie. Crucial. First day is tie day. Current topside temperature is 93 degrees with an estimated high of 100 and uh, I've been super excited for uh, the Black this game for a long compound. time. I was I was waiting for you know final release before I would sort of dive in. I guess you could say before I would fully commit. Let me know how it sounds and everything. I had someone on YouTube say my general levels were low, like my. Um, Voice and gameplay audio were low. Mic seems low. Audio, mic audio seems low. All right, let me turn that sucker up. I think this this might screw things up for a second, but yeah, it's fine. All right, here we go. Mic turning up. How about that? Is that better? All right. This is Black Mesa. So this train is. I actually don't inbound. know. I don't From think it. Is fully one point. Yeah. Um, Two. I think it might. C, test labs like, and control facilities. Um, if your happen intended happen, destination you, maybe, is a high but security I'll area beyond, and like you know, if I stream it more C, tomorrow, it'll be one point. You will need to return to the central transit hub in area nine and board Let's a high again. security I, train. Low, yeah. Game audio still seems high. Okay. If you have not yet submitted your identity, identity I'm gonna turn the game audio down as long as I can find my mouse cursor yeah this is like a new PC games uh, means like new setup so I'm happy to take the, the feedback yeah I try to wear the suits on Thursday so do do low also let's see I also let's uh, video what are we at here full screen Okay, it looks like we got everything on, because that's what I was curious about, is like, well, I just want to make sure I can play it. Uh, model detail, hi, 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 hi. Let's do it. All right, cool. I, um, gosh, I'm trying to remember Due to the, high toxicity of the material last time I played the original Half-Life. It's been no a smoking, while. Eating. Or drinking are permitted within the Black Mesa Transit System. And I actually, the first time that I played through Half Life in full, this is weird. Hi, uh, CMI Cho 8. Hello. Uh, 
Oh, let's see. Zabot. If you have default Windows 10 settings, it has handy audio adjustment that overlays on a game. Please keep hit. your limbs inside Windows. the train at all times. Do not attempt to open the doors until the train has come thing. to a Maybe I don't have that on. At the station platform. Oh, there we go. But that's In not... the event of an emergency, passengers are to remain seated and await further instruction. Okay. Well, yeah, if let me know how the audio sounds. The train, I'll keep poking at it. Personnel should be evacuated first. Please stay away uh, from the electrified rails. CMICHO8. Sorry, I don't know. I, I try to pronounce everyone's gamer type, or Twitch handles. Uh, I don't stream to Twitch, or uh, to YouTube. This is Twitch. You're on Twitch right now. I put the archives on YouTube um, because I am a, um, not a partner, but the thing before the partner on Twitch. Uh... An affiliate, and part of being an affiliate means you gotta, you can't stream simultaneously. So, so Twitch first, and then 24 hours later, the archives show up on YouTube. Uh, so, that's how I handle that. I have to love this opening. Hey, look, there's a, well, almost L Lorana Hiller. Uh, I think I got off track. Okay, so I was talking about the first time I played Half-Life. The first time I played Half-Life 1 was the PC version. I started it. I think I played the first three or four hours. And then for whatever reason, just um, wasn't able to return to that save. I don't, I don't remember why, but I didn't, I didn't beat it, is the sort of the, the third act of the story. Is I started it on PC and didn't beat it. But then... A few months later, I... Oh, man, I'm older than Gordon Freeman. Um, a few months later, I picked up the PlayStation 2 version of Half-Life 1, and that was the game... That was how I beat it. That was the first time I played Half-Life 1. Two credits, uh, see it to the end, was on PlayStation 2. Which I know, like, probably a lot of people frown at and are like, that's absurd. Why would that be the way that you play Half-Life? But, like... I was perfectly happy. I had a great time with that game. I thought the PS2 port was fine. And maybe it was a matter of me just not knowing what I was missing out on. Uh, but that's how I that's how I played um, Half-Life 1 for the first time was on PlayStation 2. <laughs> Zeno Pseudo, it's crazy. This is finally out. It's been in development for so long now. I first heard about it in middle school, and now I'm in college. Zabbit says, I remember the first time I played Half-Life, I barely played PC games and couldn't see why it had so much hype. It kept me from playing any version of it until after I played Half-Life 2. I mean, I think, yeah, it's... I think it, I mean, even this opening sequence is very cool. Like, just like moving through the facility and just like seeing things around. I think it hold, it holds up as being like a really interesting introduction to the game. And I think developers today would be scared to trap the player like this for so long just to sort of set the stage and let them know what they're getting into. I think Batman Arkham Asylum does it really well, where that opening is kind of slow, and plotting you're in control, you have full control of Batman, but it takes a little while to kind of, for things to happen in that game, and it, and it I think it's, it's kind of, it has like a half-life sort of uh, idea to it, because you're kind of moving through Arkham slowly, and sort of seeing people and being like, okay, this is where the adventure takes place. All right, okay, let's see how this goes. This could be interesting. Are you looking forward to Tsushima? It just shadow dropped the release date, June 26. ODD Low, I am super excited for Tsushima. I was actually writing up my script for Gaming Ride Home podcast, and that one I, I watched the trailer and I finished writing it for the stream. So um, one of the uh, awesome things about that game about that announcement on the PlayStation blog, uh, to me anyway, this is very specific to me, um, is the digital deluxe version of the game is going to have director's commentary for Ghost of Tsushima, which I'm super excited about. Hey, I almost played, played as you today. 
It was a toss-up between this and Blue Shift, which I still think maybe I'll do Blue Shift at some point. Because it's apparently it's pretty short, so. Morning, Mr. Freeman. Looks like you're running late. So, did they... They kept the audio, right? Or did they... Did they re-record you know, stuff? Barney's been pretty scarce around these parts. Yes, his bar tab must have finally caught up with him. I will say the first moment of like looking at this and being like, oh, this is this is good, this looks better, this is a remake, is looking at the character models for sure. What's some pep in that step, Freeman? You're late enough as it is. Oh. What up? Oh, man, you cut the ponytail. The ponytail? Stop. How do I crouch at the control? Those shifters and these shifters run. Gal's got Moxie. Well, happy Thursday. Crossing my fingers for upcoming trip doesn't get canceled. Hi, my husband's work. Oh. So that's hey, Mr. that's my background I right had now. I a bunch see? of messages for you, but we had a system crash about I don't know 20 minutes ago, and I'm still trying to find. Can I turn on? Can I see if we have? Do we have? I was looking to see if we have. Um, captions. I don't see any though. Find my files. Just one of those days, I guess. Yeah, that's they how it happens. They're also having some problems down in the test chamber too, but I think that's all straightened out. They told me to make sure you headed down there as soon as you got into your hazard suit. Let's go get it. I want to get it. Let's go get it. Can't wait. I'm excited. Coded message for Sergeant Soleto. Command and communications. Center. Give me some space, Freeman. All right, dude. Hello, Dr. Freeman. Hi. Good morning, Dr. Freeman. Earlier, but the thermal protection system seems to be online now. Okay, so this Those is... TPS they just took the audio files then. That they worse. didn't... Right, because that's... Hard to find good help these days. Yes, about that. We're going to need you to come in. Oh, G-Man sighting. Let me in. I want to talk to you. I have so many questions. Got the wrong airlock, Mr. Freeman. Oh, you I know I can't let you through here. All right. Finger you forgot to carry the two, or was it the three? For heaven's sake! Does this help? For a second, I thought she had, uh, the uh the va the valve in the back of her head <laughs> which was a silly assumption of me all right let's see uh, g man's gone okay can you access the mail server i'm looking for like the locker room right all right that experiment is single-handedly responsible for inspiring my career in science. How much recognition do you think you're going to get for This is where I came from. I'm already lost. It's been so long. Can you tell me where Excuse to go? Excuse me, Gordon, oh, sorry. but I'm rather busy now. What about you? Can I come in here? Oh, they're right there, Mr. Freeman. I got explicit orders not to let you through without your hazard suit on. All right. Where is it? Uh, are we forgetting something? Yeah, where is it? Sorry, Mr. Freeman. No exceptions. Not even for you. Fine. Okay, so I went blue. Oop. Did I go green yet? In terms of finding my way. Here we go. Morning, champ. Hi. Oh, what's Hello. This? Particle accelerators. What? All right. I trust this morning find you well. Can this wait till I'm off break? 
They're serving Salisbury surprise another in the day, cafeteria. Another day, another dollar. Again. There we go. All right. Why do we all have to wear these ridiculous ties? <laughs> Cause it's Thursday, man. You gotta wear a tie on Thursday. Triple pleated khakis, preposterous. Isn't? Can't I find mine? Barbson, Clayson, Boltzmann, Gillen, Rose, Flystock, Wilson, Freeman. Got my degree, which we all know we keep at work. Is that something I can pick up? Alright, and that's my child, nephew. Is that ever explained in the lore? Alright. Is there a cool animation of putting on my suit? I know there's in Half-Life 2, right? Yeah, look at that. Welcome to the HEV Mark IV Protective System. Mm -hmm. For use in hazardous environmental power conditions. Battery. I am back. We have this armor activated. Atmospheric contaminant sensors activated. Vital sign monitoring activated. Automatic medical systems engaged. We have this equipment. Man, I wonder if the mod scene will add VR to this. I mean, there's you can play half like two in VR. I think, like it's not. It's just like a way to play it. It's just like you know, kind of simple integration when Valve is being experimental. It's like you can do the same with um, Team Fortress. That's one of the right on through, sir. first things I did. I remember um, when we had VR in um, the like Game Informer in office was like I installed a, a patch for Team Fortress that let you kind of look around. The uh, the world of Team Fortress, which was neat. Let me out! Let me out! Electric Burgers says, "Oh snap, that's rad." G I would look that up at least i like i'm i'm fairly certain that there's just like a simple mod that i mean you basically still use a you could like use a controller or i guess a mouse and keyboard and yeah but um to play half-life 2 just while in vr which is kind of neat to worry about. can i go in oh i can sprint hmm. now Hello. We should harness the remaining photonic energy to ensure residence control. What's up, Doc? What up? Greetings, Dr. Freeman. Hello. Hello. Ah, Gordon, there you are. Nice of you to finally join us, Doctor. We've just sent the sample down to the test chamber. We've boosted the anti-mass spectrometer to 105%. Bit of a gamble, but we needed the extra resolution. Mm. The administrator is very concerned that we get a this conclusive feels like analysis a mistake, of guys. today's sample. I gather he went to some lengths to get it. Mm. They're waiting for you, Gordon, in the test chamber. Right. In Come on, the then. Test I'll walk chamber. you down. Eli has been busy making last-minute preparations for the new experiment. Is a I'm trying to get it to fall upside down. Let's see. Most of the simulation there we go. Perfectly acceptable, All right. you know. Precisely. No, stop. Greetings, Eli. Morning, stop moving. I trust this, this is very important, well. Doctor Kleiner. I think Gordon. right. Good nah. I'm glad you're here. These last minute changes. They're a bit strange to just... Oh! It's about to go critical. Am I helping? With my PhD, is this helpful, you guys? What in the blazes is going on with our equipment? <sighs> it was... Never meant to do this in the first place. <sighs> it's nothing we can't handle ourselves, Eli. Run along, Gordon. We'll be but a moment. 
Guys, I am doing very important scientific work here. Yeah. There we go. Alright. Nope. Ah, whatever. I give up. Oh, there's another trash can, right? Hmm. This could I'm a good scientist. By Beckrell's ghost! The radiation level is off the charts, Lori. I have vision as an undergrad. How so? Alright, let's get this thing rolling, man. Oh, there you are. I I'm ready. Everybody's been looking for you, hombre. Is that right? Ah, uh, here he is. Hi. I'm afraid we'll be deviating a bit from standard analysis procedure today, Gordon. Yes, yes, but with good reason. This is a rare opportunity for us. This is the purest sample we've seen yet. And potentially the most unstable. Now, as long as we right. follow standard insertion procedures, everything will be fine. I don't know how you can say that. Although I will admit that the possibility of a resonance cascade scenario is extremely unlikely. I just don't feel... Gordon doesn't need to hear all this. Yeah. He's a highly trained professional. We were sure yeah, the saw me throwing those trash that cans around. will go wrong. Yes, you're right. Gordon, we have complete confidence in you. All right. Well, go ahead. Let's let him in now. Man, are we even going to get to any action here? Okay, do I have to press a button? I don't think so. Testing. Testing. <coughs> Everything seems to be in order. Okay. All right, Gordon. Your suit should keep you comfortable through all this. The specimen will be delivered to you in a few moments. Now... If you would be so good as to climb up and start the rotors, that way we can bring the anti-mass spectrometer to 80% and hold it there is until there the carrier arrives. Is there any science to anything anyone is saying here? Or is it just, is it a lot of made-up stuff? Very good. We'll take it from here. Power to stage one emitters in three, two, one. That's where it all starts, I'm man. Seeing predictable phase That's where everything went wrong. Stage two emitters activating now. Uh, Gordon, we cannot predict how long the system can operate at this level, or how long the reading will take. But please, work as quickly as you can. Overhead capacitors to 105%. Uh, it's probably not a problem. Probably. But I'm showing a small discrepancy in... Well, no. It's well with an acceptable doctor. Sustaining sequence. Alright. We've just been informed that the sample is ready for it. It should be coming up to you at any moment. Look to the delivery system for your specimen. That's where it's coming, right? Yeah. Memories. I blew my mind. There we go. This is the Standard this is the moment. This is the beginning of half life. This is where everything went wrong. Go ahead. Position. It's not, it's not shutting down. Don't to Get out of my way. What are you are? Oh, you want to it? Let me out. Let me out. Oh, I'm 
Even over a few inches. Yeah, see, that's this is freaking cool, man. That's awesome. I love that. So those like those must be the Half-Life 2 models, I guess. Oh boy, what are they doing to me? I had actually forgotten that you actually see, you know, see stuff. Oh boy. Morning, Squiddo Willow! So, is there another exit right? Do I get the crowbar? To break through? I do, I love that Gordon does instigate this whole situation, you know? Like, the, gift, the player does have control, you know, the player made this happen. I mean, I don't know, it was like a simple, just like following the directions of like, yeah, move that thing forward. But like, because you were like involved in the experiment, it feels, you, you blame yourself to a certain degree, you know? What am I forgetting here? I can't get over there, can I? And do I want just the ladder? Don't I just leave here? Oh, there we go. Okay. I just had to hit the pad thing. This is pretty similar to your favorite genre stuff going wrong in space. It is. Stuff going wrong in laboratories. That's good too. Oh. Warning. Detected on sub level three. There, right? There's my trash can. Original ray tracing added. I never thought I'd see a resonance cascade, let alone create one. By Schrodinger's cat, he's alive. I'm alive. Gordon. Thank God for that hazard suit. All the phones are out. I can't reach anyone in the facility. I need to get to the surface and let someone know that we're stranded down here. There's no telling what kind of danger is. My ah. God, what have we done? Fascinating. Would you look at that? We can't afford to waste time. Believe me, oh, early headcrab sighting. Help you along. I forgot to say, keep that suit on until you're in the clear. You All right. hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Co-workers. Oh. Oh, that's a headcrab zombie right there. For some reason, I didn't think I would be seeing them for a while. I don't know why. Crouch, jump. Do I have a flashlight? Yeah. Spooky, scary. You kind of, I kind of forget that. I mean, Half-Life does... 
mean, it is kind of a, a horror game, ultimately. You know, at least initially. Like, the things I remember about Half-Life are, like, not really horror genre type things, but it definitely fits in there. That <laughs> dream pet, a de-beaked head crab like Lamar. Oh, wait, this is... I can just go through the right there. there we go. Okay. Someone stuck? cool because like i don't remember the game that well um yeah half-life 2's raven home is terrifying and there's a disney channel show starring the character raven and she's a mother and the show is called raven's home and i can i anytime my kid is watching it i just can't help but think of half-life 2 which is i think what they were probably going for gordon can i have that gordon. can i have that please? man am i glad to see you what the hell are these things man why are they wearing science team uniforms? All right, let's move. I think we want to go this way, right? Oh, shoot that, Hold shoot on, that. Get it, get it. Shoot in the head, man. Nobody back home is going to believe this. I've got this. Jesus, this place is in bad shape. Nope. You with me? I still need that crowbar. I thought I had the crowbar really early on. Like that? Good job. Right, we gotta get up. Stairs, right? Oh. Get them, please! I was lying about the ray tracing, but those sounds like the original voices and compression effects. I wonder if they use the same voices, actors, if alive. I think they just use the, the sort of the audio files. I don't think they brought on new actors or anything. Maybe clean them up a little bit? I don't know. Or maybe Valve, like, hooked them up with the original stuff. I don't... I don't... I think it's the old voice acting. I don't think it's new. Flash like you to death. Up. Come on. You asked for it. Well, now where are we going? Okay. I'm try to call for help. Yes, you please do. The admin office upstairs. There's got to be somebody there who can fix this. Come in, anybody. This is Sector C Anomalous Materials. We have an emergency situation here. I repeat, we have a code red emergency situation here. Possible biocontamination. <laughs> oh, DD Low, like that's so Raven? Yeah, it's it's that's so Raven. As an adult with her family in Raven's home. Hello? Hello? Hi. Is there anybody out there? This is Sector C. Come on, you bastard. Pick up. That's not gonna help. Gonna make things harder. Is anybody reading me? Come in, anybody. Somebody. I thought maybe anybody? I was supposed to wait on him, but I guess I wasn't. Die? Okay. <laughs> Oops. Sci-fi. Let's try that again. Oh. Too worried about 
about you. About you. So I was trying to save that guy, right? There we go. All right. Now it's a Half-Life game. Come on. Come on. There we go. All right. That's all I've got right now. Crowbar. Flashlight consume power. Alright, looking at the blue screen. I need some help. Okay, let's see. No, no, didn't, didn't make it. That's a puzzle, right? Throw the desk instead. That's how that would work. I mean, it's a crowbar. I still, I'm hoping to at least get a. I'm hoping to get a gun, uh, oh my gosh, I'm getting Shenmue flashbacks, um, a gun in, over the course of this stream. That was really painful. Falling on your back on the ladder like that? Oh boy. What else we got here? No? Oh wait, does it just keep Am I approaching this the wrong way? Is that where I came from? Yeah. All right, there we go. It's crazy how, uh... oh gosh, I forgot about these guys. There you go, you're 
You're creepy. Oh yes, health. Give me the health. What is this? Is this the refrigerator? Empty. That's okay. Okay, you're looking very casket fresh today. <laughs> it says RB alien. What's up, man? Oh, that's a compliment. Sure. Oh, my old friend. Yeah, one hit. There we go. Anything in there? No. Hmm. Do I have? Should I be more cautious? Yes. Health. Oh, thank God. You all right? Listen, I know where you can <laughs> find your says, yeah, weaponry. Yeah, definitely a compliment. There's a security office not far from here. Okay. Take me with you, and I'll unlock the door. Let's do it, man. You I'm at me. your beck and call, good sir. Cool. I'm going to keep you alive, probably. I am Gordon Freeman. Draw. I'm the free man, as they say. Another one of those things. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Thank you. Is there a gun in here? Gun time? Oh, safe haven. No. Oh. Well. At any rate, over there's the weapons I spoke of. Oh, I got a grenade. Master roll grenade. Okay, cool. How does this work? I can... Okay. These crab creatures have a unique parasitic strategy. Don't you think? Oops. Yes. Okay. So why does left mouse make you shoot so much faster, or right mouse rather? Oh well, I misunderstood. Is anyone else getting hungry? You gonna open this door for me? Is that how this works? Forty-two. I've had my fill for excitement today. Um, you're welcome to stay if you want. Oh, I got stuff I gotta do. I got a busy day. Is this not where I'm supposed to go? I really thought that's where I'm supposed to go. Was that open before? This feels familiar, right? I am hearing monsters. E. Use. What was the E used for? that do? Is that good? Hey, where do I go, man? I'll stay here. All right. I did something. So that's hot water feed valve two. Feed one, feed two. Is this right? Gosh, it's been a while. All right, so what, what did that do though? I 
turned on both things. Okay. So those are on now. Okay, so we have some new doors are open. Because these were not... This door was an open fire. Okay. Is this right? Oh, no! Is that five shots? Okay. Oh. Oh, you're a little harder to hit with a gun. Okay. Two shots on you. Six? Alright. Hey, howdy, hey, says Flaming Queso. Oh, crap. Do we have an explosive? Can we shoot you? Are you explosive? You're not explosive, are you? What do you do? You try to eat it? Sir. Okay. Is this Cyber Exile. Thought you quit streams since ride home. Um No, I've been I've been making it work. Um It's uh Oh boy, I died. Um, I'm still fitting it all in there. I, I, I'm still kind of like, still trying to figure out my schedule. Um, but right now, uh, taking a little hour break to stream in the middle of preparing for the, for the podcast, um, has been doing okay. Uh, it hasn't been too bad. I don't know if this is just a waste of ammo or what. Cause I gotta open. Do I need to open this up? Okay. Is this, I wanted to kill them because it caused so much trouble for me last time. Okay. See, I should have figured out where I was going first. Is this right? Is this filling up so I can exit? I don't think it is. So I killed all of these guys. Okay. How much of okay, I'm at like fifty. And I've only got two shots. I was gonna switch over here. Hmm. What am I forgetting? What time is it? Okay, so we're playing a little bit more here. So I've got. Oh, you know what? Is there something on one of the ceilings that maybe I didn't see earlier? And there's a lot of those guys. Is there just a hole somewhere in there? <laughs> oh boy. Oh no. Ouch. Okay, let's see. So I got... Yeah, I filled it up with water. Was I just not supposed to do that? Was that just a mistake? 
Not, I need to take a breath. Come on. There we go. Is this new? Minor there we go. I've got like two bullets, right? Or is that? This feels. This. Okay. This feels good. This game looks amazing. So glad this remake exists. This flaming queso, cyber exile. Yeah. Thought this only had part of the game. Guess it's complete now. Yes. As of today. Um, I actually, I don't, I think it's still technically early access when you go buy it. I think it'll go full 1.0, maybe this afternoon or something. But the game leaves early access today. Almost 15, I've been in development for 15 years at this point. I guess. And I'm pretty sure this is the right area. Is there another way in there? Another door or like another entrance or something? I guess this is just not the right way. Hmm. See, this... Timing right before Alex. Yeah, I don't know how planned that was on uh, their part. Crowbar initiative? Like, uh, I don't know if that's. If they. But uh, whatever the case is, like, it synced up well. And it was a, a smart thing to do, even maybe if they were done, but then sat on it for a little while to try to get it a little bit closer to Valve's release. Let's see. Oh, wait. I'm onto something here. There we go. See? This feels right. Gotta go, says Squiddle Willow. See you next time. Bye, chat. I'm in this room. Okay, this is what I was trying to get to. The VHS player? Alright. Empty. Oh. Help. Does this work now? Is that what I'm doing? I remember watching a lot of Akira and playing Metal Gear Solid and then playing Half-Life and uh, like these, I feel like these sort of big elevators were in all the media that I liked. ODD Low, having just watched the super replay of Half-Life, it's odd to see this played competently. All damn playing, it was so painful. Why was, it? you know, I should go back and watch some of them. Uh, what? Cause I never watched it. Like, what was Dan just having a hard time with the mouse and keyboard? I, I mean, I'm sure he's a big PC gaming guy now, but like at the time, he just he just hadn't played a lot of PC games. Is that why they were? Um, is that why he was struggling so much? Or was he just being intentionally kind of obtuse the whole time? I a lot of headcraps. Love the soundtrack. Uh, Let's just, let's just take a crowbar time. We need to wait a 
waste all these bullets. Hey, I lost a lot of health. That was a cool moment. Help! <laughs> Joshua Caleb 76, he just fundamentally didn't understand how to play the game, also intentionally being a idiot. That sounds, sounds like Dan. I haven't talked to him in a while, actually. I hope he's digging his new job. We've got to, guys, we've got to take care of all these. It's just, you know, I mean, it's just, it's really, really important. You know what, I want to use a grenade. I don't want to use a grenade. <laughs> okay. First person platforming. Always fun. I did a lot of it recently. Uh, oh, boy. Come on. <laughs> Let's try this again. That looks cool right there. Look at that breaking apart. Get out of here! Alright. Was the I think my problem there was that I didn't sprint, right? Oh crap, I hit the <coughs> wrong button again. They still haven't released Zen for this, right? Uh, no, I, I mean I, I, it's done, I think, right? Am I misunderstanding? I, I I think it's all done today. Zen came out recently and they had it in like, you know, early access beta. Cat is getting in all the way of all kinds of cables. Oh, boy. Uh, Zelistar, you're making me second guess myself, but I mean, today is the release date. Like I said, I don't think what I'm playing right here is technically 1.0 release, because uh, I think today's the release date, but the, the trigger hasn't been pulled on like truly 1.0. Um, <laughs> But today is the announced uh, release date for Black Mesa. Which is why I'm playing it. It's, uh, I mean, I'm excited for Alex, but I've also, I've been wanting to play this, you know, since it was announced over a decade ago. Uh, but I wanted to wait for the full thing to be complete. I didn't want to play uh, an unfinished version of the game. There's a vent to the right. Oh, thank you. Who is that? Oh, DD low. Gosh, doesn't it seem like you can make that though? <laughs> All right, let's see. Yeah, this is way better. I've died way less already. So go for a few more minutes here, because I started a little late. I don't think I'll play an early access game ever again, says CyberXL. Honestly, like, I'm with you. Like, I think it's great. I think it's cool that um, early access exists. Uh, I think it's great for developers. Um, I think it's awesome for players that want to jump in a game early and provide feedback and, like, be involved in development to a certain degree and play the games they want to play early. But, I mean, it, it, given the choice, like, I'm always gonna... I'm always gonna just wait. Um to play the full release. I just don't... I don't want to. Alright, well, what are you? Is that one of oh, You're getting a grenade. Did I get it? I think I got it. Okay. I was assuming that wasn't going to kill me, and then my assumption was correct. Ah, these things are cool. There's a lot of them. I always liked a uh, Game Informer in the office. We we had one. There was one like behind my desk. I always thought those were cool. It had like a little cellophane tongue coming out of it. I'm, I'm doing pretty good on health, actually. Okay, I can't even see the... Oh, hold on. We gotta see how these explosive arrows look.
Pretty good. I'm pleased. It's no Resident Evil 6, mind you, but... I think uh, Resident Evil 6 and Half-Life 2 are my favorite explosive barrels of all time. at all. Ah! Nailed it. Alright, I think sprinting is my main problem. Because it just it makes me nervous that I'm going to overshoot. See, I tried to sprint there, and that was the problem. Oh, that's the checkpoint. Thank you, game. Oops. So yeah, see, it's sprinting. That screws me up. All right, we're going to get through this, and then we're going to call it a day. I think I'm going to keep going with this um, tomorrow. It's a nice uh, companion piece. I believe Serial is streaming Half-Life 2 right now, and I'll stream Half-Life 1. And that'll get you ready for Half-Life Alex. have to destroy them all. Crucially important, everybody. What was that explosion? Uh, I need the Metroid Prime. I need the, the hookshot thing. This is where I came from, right? Didn't I come up here? Then rounded the corner. This is where I came from? I'm already kind of lost here. Nope, yeah, okay. I came from there. And then... I shot some alien dogs in here. We all had a good time. This will... Okay, this feels right. You know what? I think this is a good place to save it. Alex isn't coming to PSVR, is it? Um, asks Cyber Exile. I don't think so. Um, maybe at some point in the future? But I don't think it's going to be on PSVR for PS4. Maybe PSVI, PS5, PSVR 2, whatever we're going to call it. Maybe uh, it would come out for that. But I, I, certainly, I think the only way to play Alex right out of the gate is going to be with you know Oculus or... Index or what have you. I I'm playing it. I'm gonna, my plan is to play it with um, Oculus Quest with Link, um, which I believe is Serial's plan too. Um, but yeah, I can't wait. Um, I'm excited. Watching those gameplay videos uh, really got me more excited. So all right, thanks for tuning in today, everybody. Um, I'll be back more with this tomorrow. I'm always like hesitant to like commit to like. I don't know if I'll play the whole thing, um, but. Um, 
don't know. I mean, it's Half-Life. It's a good game to play. And if there's something else that comes up that I'm really excited about, I'll play that. But, you know, I, I these streams are, you know, for me, like, these are the things I want to play. Um, and that doesn't necessarily have to be, like, the big new releases, which I mean, this kind of is. I've been wanting to play this for a long time. And, yeah, so that's why I decided to go with that. All right. Well, anyway, thanks so much, everybody, for tuning in. Always appreciate it. And uh, we'll play some more tomorrow. All right. Bye.